go back to Bob Quinn, Matt Patricia. Okay. Bob Quinn and Matt Patricia in their last draft, and they're faced with a chance to take Tua Tungavailoa or Justin Herbert. Yeah. Okay. They're faced to, or get good now. And again, we all know how it worked out, but get good, get good now, get a player at a position of need right now to help you. You get Jeff. That's how you get Jeff Akuda, <laughs> right? He'll be catching strays for the rest I, of the time in Detroit. I guess my yeah. point is Bob Quinn and Matt Patricia were in win now mode. Yeah. A rookie quarterback behind Matthew Stafford was not going to help them ever. It's is true. So when a coach and a general manager kind of have that mindset, it yeah. ultimately those two, two men lost their jobs over that decision. Uh, but when a coach and a GM have that win now mindset and really mortgage the future of the franchise because you're in win now mode, I think quarterbacks and players on any team are, are similar in that. You know you're running out of years. You are running out of time in this league, and you want every possible chance to win today. You don't care about the Atlanta Falcons four years from now. You care about the Atlanta Falcons four months from now. Quinn Trisha did a lot wrong. It's a lot that they got wrong, and they were they were escorted uh, out of the Detroit city limits 100%, out of the, actually the state of Michigan, mm -hmm. if you will, and I understand it. One thing I didn't necessarily punish them for or say this, that, and the third is hindsight on Jeff Okuda. Mm. Hindsight with Jeff Okuda, yeah, we saw he wasn't a guy that could play. He wasn't worth the third pick overall. Uh, but in hindsight, you look back, now that you have this information about winning now mm. versus winning, you, you don't draft the backup quarterback. You don't draft whatever. You don't draft Herbert. You don't draft Tua. You take um, uh, Jeff Okuda. Because he's from Ohio State, if you had looked at the track record of Ohio State DBs up until that point, mm. Ohio State was not only now they're wide receiver you, they were DB you at one point. Marshawn Lattimore, you look at uh, Malcolm uh, Jenkins, you look at Denzel Ward. Denzel Ward was the highest paid defensive back of all time just two years ago. You look at the DBs that came out of there, they, Arnez, that was another good one. So, if you're looking at that, that track record, you need a DB. You need a guy to come in now. What better school at the time than Ohio State? What better position to draft out of Ohio State outside defensive line at the time? So, it was a good pick in thought. Mm -hmm. He just happened not to be the one.